<laughs> Hi, it's Alec here from A Sonicism, and this is Chelsea. Um, she's going to help me with marketing and any sort of creative design stuff that I might need done for A Sonicism. It's a project that I started yesterday, and it's basically where I write music without being able to hear it. So. It's a way for me to simulate how I would compose music going forward if I had to lose my hearing. Because music is very important for me, I would, um, I would carry on doing it even if I wouldn't be able to enjoy it. So this is just a, a way that I can see how I would go about doing it and see if it even works. Um, the music that I, I've written and produced and uploaded I haven't listened to yet. So it's quite nerve-wracking because maybe some of it is garbage, maybe some of it is good, but who knows? Um, it's all about the experiment after all. This, um, this endeavor is also because I would like to um, give back as a musician to the community. And I found a what I think is a worthwhile charity here called the Foundation for Children with Hearing Loss in Southern Africa. Um, and any purchases of the EP and merch in future or further EPs as well, the proceeds will go to the this foundation. Um, and I think it, it's, it's a good thing for us to try and help kids get their hearing back and I know that without music, I would be slightly lost, slightly lost. So, yeah, we're about to listen to it for the first time. And I hope you enjoy with us. A little bit nervous to hear this music for the first time. Well, here goes nothing. Yeah, let's start on the first track. Uden Lüt. Something in Danish. I think it's without noise. Let's check it out.
laughing at my drums. It's not bad. I think it's pretty good. Um, what I was going for there, I don't know if it came across, was like the melodic death sort of elements from the monomath and sort of meaning metalcore, which is basically those melodic death elements can be metalcore <laughs> from the monomath, so it's almost the same thing. Oh, thank you. Um, so the next song we're going to listen to is called Sirtis, <laughs> which is, um, yeah, my band name is Sirtis. Um, my other band's name is Sirtis. And it actually means death in Latin. I point to my ears because everyone's like, oh, death. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, so let's go check out um, the song Sirtis. Harmony there that's not quite right. Let's see. Yeah, I, I tried playing around with different drum effects, but 
you know, I couldn't actually hear what I was doing. So, um, yeah, I do think they sounded a bit better. Um, yeah, it came out better than what I expected. So this next song is the one that I'm actually most nervous about. It was my most ambitious song. Um, the cool thing about programming everything is you don't actually have to be able to play <laughs> the music that you're writing. So this song I made like very technical, had lots of time changes, and um, I even threw in two guitar solos and a bass solo. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm quite oh. nervous. Let's let's give it a go. pretty good <laughs> yeah i think the bass was a little soft but i mean you yeah. wouldn't have known no it's bass is important bass is important but it's difficult to tell the mix of these things without you know hearing them that's okay i think it was a very very strong effort this last one i, I tried to um do something a little darker go for a lot of minor chords give that black metal feel yeah, I don't know. 
if it's going to sound what it's going to sound like. Well, so far, it is three the out of four is good. It's the shortest track, so we, we're almost at the finish if line. If it's bad, it's over soon. Yeah. That's a, that actually brings me to one thing. It's really difficult to organize with the order of the songs in the EP. Mm. Because, you know, if this is the weakest song, I wouldn't want it last. Mm. Right? But you also don't want... You, so, when you design an album, you put the first song as a strong song and the last song as a strong song and then everything in between. Um, so, I can't do that. But let's give it a go. So far, so good. favorite so riff of the song. probably didn't know how to finish it um i didn't picture that obviously um overall though uh i think it's a solid ep some of the the some of the riffs are better than stuff i would write normally <laughs> maybe you should write in silence more <laughs> probably it's not a bad mechanism it's actually it was quite freeing in a sense of not having a guitar in front of me trying to figure out stuff because that would have been cheating as well. Um, so literally just sitting and writing stuff down on um, Guitar Pro first and then um, bringing it into Audacity and then editing the key switches for Odin guitars and low-key bass. Um, if I could change one thing on on the entire like spread of the songs, is I'd up the volume of the bass guitar because it wasn't isn't very present in the stuff. But otherwise, I think it's quite quite a good mix. Um, I think there's some extremely proggy stuff in there, some genty genty vibes. Um, but yeah, I'm happy. I hope you guys, um, if you're still watching this video, <laughs> I hope you um, enjoy it. You can buy the songs individually or um, buy the EP. So go nuts, listen to it, buy what you like. Remember that whatever you buy will ultimately help a charity. Um, yeah, let's help some children get their hearing back. Music, I think, is one of the most beautiful things people have managed to create. And I think everybody, especially children, deserve to hear music. So, come on. 
support help kids get their hearing back. Awesome. Okay, on the count of three, my love. Okay. One, Bye. Two. Bye. <laughs>